The Retractable Roof Production System, or RRPS, has been developed by Cravo over the last 35 years to help growers create superior results using a system that combines the benefits of climate optimization, nature, and protection. Compared to growing in the open field or in conventional greenhouses, tunnels, or shade houses, automatic retractable roof houses can help growers significantly improve yield, quality, extend the harvest window, fruit firmness and bricks, shelf life, and naturally improve resistance to both disease and pests. Open field growers know only too well how their yield, quality, and timing of harvest is affected by the seasonal weather changes from spring to summer to fall to winter. But the biggest risks to crops come from extreme changes in the weather, freezing temperatures, heavy rains, hail, and extreme summer heat. Whereas if you are a grower who has already built greenhouses, tunnels, or shade houses to protect from adverse weather conditions or grow crops out of season, well, you have probably already experienced that you face completely different problems compared to those you experience with outside field crops. When growing crops under stationary plastic or net, the plants can exhibit any of the following traits. One, they stretch or grow taller. Two, they are vegetative, meaning they may produce more leaves requiring more pruning, and they may produce fewer fruit that also may be smaller and softer. Three, the leaves are large and thin, which creates a greater susceptibility to insect attack and foliar disease. Four, they may be more susceptible to virus. Five, they may be experiencing greater nutritional related problems like blossom end rot, for example, caused by a deficiency in calcium uptake. Six, flowers can have problems with pollination. Seven, or the flowers may pollinate but then abort, especially when summer temperatures become high. The fact that around the world plants in a protective environment can have these seven physiological problems raises seven critical questions. One, how is it possible that simply covering a plant with plastic or insect net can cause these physiological changes in how plants develop? Two, why are these problems so difficult to prevent in a conventional greenhouse, tunnel, or shade house? Three, why is it typically easier to grow crops in a conventional greenhouse or tunnel in a cold climate compared to a hot climate? Four, why do growers in mild and hot climates typically achieve better results in a retractable roof than in a stationary roof structure? Five, why do most growers in the world not properly identify what is really causing all these problems? Six, why do conventional greenhouse controllers not show us precisely what is causing these problems so that growers can prevent this problem? Seven, and finally, why do growers in automatic retractable roofs tend not to have these problems? When growers started using automatic retractable roof houses over 30 years ago, they started noticing that they were getting better quality, higher yields, and that plants had fewer problems with insect disease and nutritional deficiencies. But nobody could explain exactly why this was happening. Plus, there was no documented best practices to ensure that growers consistently achieve good results. So after 10 years of studying best practices and challenges in conventional greenhouses, tunnels, open fields, and retractable roofs, we have developed the Retractable Roof Production System, or RRPS. We are proud to say that the RRPS is a proven production system that helps growers in mild and hot climates achieve superior results and that it can be easier to learn to grow in than a conventional greenhouse or open field because the RRPS focuses on using the retractable roof to prevent the problems of both the open field and a permanently covered house. To help you learn how the RRPS works and why it is easy to use, we have created a one-of-a-kind series of five short videos which will help explain the chain of events which demonstrate the relationship between the growing environment 
and the response of plants to the surrounding climate. The first video is about plant temperature. Why leaf, fruit, and soil temperature are frequently significantly different than air temperatures in the direct sun and how a roof covering alters plant temperatures. The second video deals with water loss or transpiration. How the rate of water loss from plants changes when plants are outside in direct sun compared to when plants are in a protected environment. The third video deals with hydration, dehydration, or water stress. How plants respond based on whether they are experiencing low water stress, optimal water stress, or severe water stress. The fourth video deals with automatically regulating both plant temperature and water loss. How a black plate sensor on a weather station can automate the retractable roof and walls to help optimize both plant temperatures and water loss. And the fifth video deals with strategies for optimizing the use of bees for pollination and preventing losses from pests when designing and using the retractable roof production system.